What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're playing some Elder Scrolls Online and I wanted to do another update video so that you guys can see the progress that I made on my character and give me any advice if you have to give it. Uh, I'm of course wanting to make the most progress in the shortest amount of time that I can do it and you know we're past the leveling phase, we're past where we're trying to uh, like so to say enjoy the story and the gameplay now it's time to hardcore it it's time to become one of the best players that i can become and if i can get there as fast as possible i'm all about doing that all right so let's go ahead and show the character we have uh, a build that's all points into stamina right now that's basically the cookie cutter build that everybody tells you to go with either all match go or all stamina or whatever in order to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to play the game and don't have to worry about things i'm not real sure on uh if i should put some into health eventually i have seen videos where people were uh really trying to find to comb uh a particular character into like it needs to hit a certain hit point threshold and if it's not hitting that then you need to put some points into health in order to achieve that and then you can put the rest into stamina or magicka whichever way you're going to go uh, I'm not too sure if I need to do that but right now this is the build that I have any advice that you guys have to give I would love to hear about it in the comment section below alright so let's go ahead and check out my items now uh, the gear that I have right now is this is my PVE set however I am using the blood spawn monster set even though it's better for PvP because I do not have the other set the Veldress or uh, I think that's how you pronounce it um, that set that I would like to have because whenever I run dungeons it's usually always normal mode dungeons uh, I'm not super comfortable doing veteran dungeons yet uh, so I haven't gotten to uh, farm that particular mask and shoulders that I know well, you know get the shoulders out of the undaunted chest yet for that so I'm basically using the best set that I have other than the one I'm shooting for and that would be the blood spawn mask and uh, the blood spawn pauldrons all right so those are the two items that I have there for my monster set uh, I went with a Spriggan set as recommended by most guides and stuff. Uh, I went ahead and picked up the gloves here. Now you'll see that I'm going for uh, mostly medium armor. Uh, except for I have like one heavy piece here to uh, get some bonuses from. But everything else will be medium for the most part. Alright so Spriggan gloves. And as you can see like the, the enchantment that I have on them isn't that great i would like to have better enchantments on my stuff but i don't have the extra money to throw around to get like the gold uh max stamina enchant yet uh maybe eventually all right so a friend of mine uh nero genie uh built me some uh pieces of gear uh i don't know if this is one of them that he gave me uh i think it's the belt um yeah, he, get, he gave me a couple pieces of hunting armor because that's also another set that I went with uh, for my five-piece set. So I went with five-piece hunting, five-piece spriggan, and the, the blood spawn monster set, which is only going to be temporary on my uh, PvE set. That's, that's going to be my PvP uh, monster set once I get to that point. So as you can see, we got spriggan bracers, uh, hunting legs, and the max enchant that I got on it isn't that great yet. I basically put on whatever I could fit on there. All right, so uh, then we have the Spriggan's uh, chest piece here. Uh, a little bit better of a, a stamina enchant, but I'd like to get it higher. Get a legendary enchant would be the way to go. We have the uh, Belt of Hunting Rage, uh, which is yeah man those enchants kind of kill me on some of them i probably don't have any enchants at all because uh i'm trying to basically farm the basic enchants i bet i can buy them real cheap but i've been spending a lot of money on my character lately uh, and then i have some yeah some gold boots these things uh i might have overpaid for them i'm not real sure but whenever i seen them available and i seen the price i think i spent 35k or something like that on them I, I might have over overspent on it because 
at the time I didn't have any add-ons or anything like that. Actually, uh, the TTC suggested price is 51K to 63K. And yeah, if that's truly what the price should be, I got it for almost half price. You know, that that's really, really good. I hope I hope that is the real price there because I bought it a lot cheaper than that. So I'm pretty happy with that. If that's really what it is. Oh man, I did not see the TTC price until just now. Uh, I just put add-ons on my character. Now mind you, with the add-ons, I wanted to make sure that I only used add-ons that were uh, not going to alter the UI too much. I know the real flashy UIs and all that are really, really beneficial. I know they look great. But I wanted people to watch my videos and feel like it's very relatable. I didn't want them to look at my screen and feel like it's almost a completely different game than what they're playing. So I like to keep it as basic as possible and then just have some add-ons on the side that's going to help me along the way. Alright, so let's look at the jewelry here. We have Spriggan's necklace. We have Spriggan ring and Spriggan ring. I would like to get the gold ones for this. Oh my gosh, I have seen the uh, gold ones being sold uh, on the market and stuff like that. And I am so jelly, man. I am just addicted to try to get uh, the gold of everything. It, it would be so great, but I ran out of money. I mean, uh, really, I spent, uh, you know, the 35K or 40K, whatever I spent on this. I know it was around that area. And then... Uh, my other big spending item here which was my main dps weapon which was a dagger of hunting's rage i got this and uh you know i paid about the right price for it you know it's a suggested price of 94k to 118,000, and i spent 100k on it so i spent around what it normally runs for and man i i was i wanted this so bad Oh my gosh, once I seen this on the merchant, I was going, I've got to have this. And at the time, I had like 90K. And uh, <laughs> man, uh, I had to ask friends for uh, money. And that, that was a little bit hard to do. It was like, man, do you have 10K that you could give me? And sure enough, they were nice enough. Uh, let's see, I'll show off my friends here. Uh, this this guy right here. This was the one that loaned me the money to be able to get my dagger. That Lost Boy 82. Uh, he's been helping me out a lot in the game. He always made uh, a lot of training gear for me while I was leveling up and helping me out with a little bit of money along the way. This guy has been amazing to me. Another person that has been amazing as well is Nero Genie here. He's been doing a lot of dungeons with me. He plays with me uh, almost daily if uh, we meet up at the right times. And he's just been super helpful. And these two guys have been so supportive towards me. I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, but let's go back to the gear. You'll see that my second dagger is also Hunting's Rage, but this one has uh, the weapon damage and uh, weapon critical uh, enchants on it and trait. Uh, this first one doesn't have an enchant on it yet, uh, but hopefully soon. Right now, it's just got the weapon damage, so that's going to be beneficial. I just got to get an enchant eventually. I just ran out of money. Like I said, I had to borrow. I basically had to ask friends for uh, money for me to even get this dagger. All right, so then I have a really, you know, kind of a terrible bow here. It's it's just basically a filler. I'm thinking about not even bothering with this bow and just using uh, like daggers on both uh, both sets here, and that way I can uh, switch between like a solo. Uh, build and then a you know a PvE build eventually I want to go with a PvP build as well but right now it doesn't seem like that's in the cards I need to uh, I'll just be ba basically winging the PvP gameplay but uh, PvE is definitely what I'm focused on at the moment in order to build my character up once I'm built up a little bit more then it's time to crush some faces all right so uh, my champion points these are still a mess here. The, it's completely not what it should be. Um, basically, I have put all my points into like one or two things. Like right here, I got increased stamina recovery for the most part. Uh, 
and whenever you put points into this you know the benefits of each additional point is less and less so uh, you know take for instance you might put a point into it and it gives you two percent of an increase to your stamina recovery well the next point you do after that will only give like 1.8 percent increase or whatever you know that you want to say it is so putting all your points into one area is not very smart at all I really just didn't know what build to put it in so I I put it into the most useful one that I could find uh, eventually I need to redistribute these and put them into better areas any advice would be highly appreciated um, let's see here uh, on the the mage side I put all my points into master at arms so I can increase my damage done and also into mighty which increases physical damage done which was seeming to be right up my alley all right on this one uh, the warrior side I put into uh, medium armor focus because I knew most of my builds was going to be uh, medium armor uh, heavy and then also into hardy here which reduces damage taken from physical uh, poison and disease damage so that's basically how I have them it's completely not the right way to do it and I acknowledge that but I haven't looked up any guides on it and uh, nobody's really gave me advice on it as well so I gotta do my research all right so let's see here let's go to skills I have respect recently which uh, I, I, I never seem to be happy with how I put my skill points I always want to respect again but I don't have the money to keep doing it over and over I mean it, it'll break you it, it's one of those things that it's like 6,000 gold every single time you're going to do it if not more and I mean on my character I think I have 5,000 right now <laughs> you know I'm, I'm spending all my money on gear and it, it just blows my mind that you can buy all this great great gear it just makes me want to buy it I want to buy it so bad man and whenever I go to these vendors and I see like some gloves that are the the gold version of the gloves that I have on now I'm going I want those gloves so bad man so so bad it's like I'm fiending, man. And, uh, so uh, I'm hoping to be able to buy that stuff eventually. I am doing the daily uh, crafting quests so I can uh, build up like tempers and stuff like that in order to uh, be able to, you know, make some of my gear gold by myself. But, you know, that's a process. You got to build that stuff up or else uh, you might waste all of it. So all right so the the uh points i put into i've been using uh, noxious breath as my uh dot i i haven't been making it anything real complicated uh my actually i've swapped this around I'm, I'm not supposed to have vigor right there that's supposed to be my um other skill i'll show it to you in a minute but uh Basically, the setup that I was wanting to have was have Expert Hunter on my bar so that whenever it's slotted, I gain magi Major Savagery and increases my weapon critical rating by 2,191. Uh, right here is supposed to be the skill that I use in order to increase my damage by 20%. Uh, I unslotted it because I was kind of doing it on the fly. I was needing to uh, do a Dolomin by myself and I needed to heal so that's why I put it there and then we have noxious breath right here that is uh, it's like the dot that I've been going with on everything uh, because uh, it doesn't really work on bosses usually but it, it's one of those that it can hit multiple enemies and I'm always fighting trash mobs I mean packs of them so in order to do uh, damage to all of them as as much as I can I use Noxious Breath instead of like uh, one of my dual wheel dots instead. All right, then we have Steel Tornado here, which is my AOE. That's what I'm spinning around and hitting everybody with. And then we have Rapid Strikes. This is my spammable skill. And then for my ultimate, we have Dawnbreaker. Of course, this is an amazing skill from the Fighters Guild. All right, so those are the things that I was shooting for. Uh, let's see here, Inferno. Yeah, this was, uh, I was going to do a, a two bar setup to where I could go to one bar and do a, a ton of dots 
and then go to the main bar in in order to do like my main attacks and that seems like the best way to stack all these dots and do the most dps that i could but i realize that overcomplicating it seems to be more of a hindrance most of the time uh because you're trying to you know whenever you're going in and fighting a boss uh, you know a boss in general usually you're having to move around you have to get in you have to get out you have to dodge the red on the ground there's so many things going on that being able to stack a ton of dots is extremely uh not only difficult but usually just does not happen uh, so putting a dot or two on them and going into spam and you know a spam skill would usually be the best way to do it it seems because that way you can you know get out of the red and move out of the you know go kill something else there will be uh, tons of these bosses have like things off to the side that you have to kill this ad or you have to go shatter this crystal or whatever else you need to in order to uh, get through that particular instance so stacking dots man it, it just wasn't working whenever i was doing it all right so uh let's see here i put into passives down here i've always been told that the passives basically make your character uh draconic power i didn't put any points in anything except for a few of the passives here uh there's probably some good stuff here such as dark talon um yeah, there's there's good stuff here. I, I did spiked armor for a while. I know that's really good in PvP. Um, but right now I just didn't have a ton of skill points. And I needed to put them where it would be most efficient for me to be able to do the PvE content. And I need to go farm Sky Shards eventually. And do some more quests, I guess, for more skill points. Alright, for Earth and Heart, as you can see, I didn't put in anything. I might need to put into some passives here, but I only have eight skill points left. And uh, I was using Molten Weapons. I am not using it uh, right now because it doesn't fit on my one bar setup, but it's a very good ability. So Stone Fist, that was another one that I was using for a while. All right, for weapons, uh, yeah, I accidentally put a point into Momentum. I didn't mean to do that. It was basically like the guide that I was reading was saying, put a point into momentum to get uh, major brutality and increase your weapon damage by 20% for 30 seconds. And I said, all right, that sounds good. I put a point into it, and then I realized that, that that's not like a universal thing. You have to put it into the dual wield version if you're dual wielding. This is only for the two-hander. So, yeah, I messed that up. That's another reason why it always eats at me. Every time I respec my skills, I want to do it again and again because it, you're never happy with it. All right, and I didn't pick up any of the passives here. Uh, might need to go through that and eventually put in the passives with some stuff. Uh, Sword and Shield? Nope. Nothing there either. I was using Puncture for a while, but not anymore. All right, so uh, dual wield. This is where I put all my points in for the most part. Uh, I'm going with all these spammable skills and stuff, uh, like steel tornado and rapid strikes, and then I got uh, other things like rending slashes would be great to use as I think it does apply to bosses, which would be a great dot because noxious breath usually doesn't apply to bosses. They're usually immune to it. So, but it's single target. So whenever I just have one dot on my bar here, it's it's usually going to make more sense to have something that's going to AOE everything down. Whenever almost you know most of the fights that I get into are trash mobs, is packs of mobs. Um, another thing here is I was um, trying to use deadly cloak at one time. That was one of the dots they suggested I use, and I. I eventually quit using it whenever I went to a one bar setup here. And then my secondary bar is my bow skills. Alright, so flying dagger, that is the flying blade, that is my uh, extra ability there that I was supposed to have. As you can see, it also grants major brutality, increasing your weapon damage by 20% for 30 seconds. So, yeah, pretty important skill. I've learned that having these two on my bar are super important. 
uh, you want expert hunter so that you can get the the weapon critical just for having it slotted and the flying blade increases my weapon damage by 20 percent for 20 seconds so keeping that up is very very important um, I did not realize like I was just putting abilities down here and just spamming them and stuff and I didn't realize that just having certain things on your bar would be so beneficial all right and of course I put into all this stuff I probably need to put another point into this uh, I just now hit 50 with dual wield so yeah before I didn't have uh, that available so I need to fill that up this one here doesn't seem like it's as important um, but I'll probably put points into that too all right so then into bow here I'm thinking about taking all my points out of bow because I'm finding that I never use it, uh, it I I relied on bow for so long while I was leveling up that I thought for sure I would still be using it whenever I went into uh, max level, you know, CP 160 type of stuff, but I'm not using it. I never use it really. I mean, every time I go to it, I kind of regret it. I'd rather just go back to dual wield and go into my, uh, my abilities there. So yeah, I might respect and take out of this. We'll have to see. But right now, the main thing that I use is this spammable ability, which is my focused aim, and then my AoE here, which is Endless Hail. And then I'll also throw in a Poison Arrow here and there as well. Um, let's see, of course, Destruction and Restoration Staff, I'm not doing anything with. Uh, with my armors, I don't wear any light armor, so I haven't put any points in anything. Uh, there might be things that I could put points into, I'm not too sure. I'd have to check it out but medium armor I'm, I'm wearing a ton of uh, medium armor so uh, having all these abilities is very important the one that I can do without is definitely improved sneak I don't really need that so we'll see uh, I might eventually put points into it if I got extra points uh, heavy armor I do wear a little bit of heavy armor and I'm going to wear more in PvP so there you go Got tons of skills and all that. World, yeah. Not really putting points into this stuff except for to automatically get soul, uh, soul shards. Or soul gems, should I say. Uh, werewolf, I haven't been using that much lately anymore once I've went to a full PvE build. Uh, but, very fun stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to look into this a little bit more once I get more into PvP. Uh, so that should be fun. Uh, Fighters Guild stuff. Yep. I gotta morph this. I, I just recently got the ability to morph it. I finally leveled it up all the way, so I gotta check out morphing it. Also, probably need to morph this Expert Hunter now that it's fully leveled up to, uh, to really good abilities that I need to check out. Uh, and then I got passives down here. Uh, I might need to uh, put it into more of these passives. I'm not real sure. Yeah. Look at that. Weapon damage by 1% for each Fighter's Guild ability slotted. So yeah, that would increase my 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 stuff there. I want to make sure that I put points into that. Uh, right now I've got uh, the Mage's Guild as well. I don't know if this is, you know, even worth having. I just automatically picked up Mage's Guild for uh, an extra guild whenever I was first starting the game. And I went ahead and picked up the Persuasive Will here so I can persuade NPCs in conversations. Uh, I don't know if that's even worth it, but I did it because I, I didn't know what I was doing. And I still don't know what I'm doing whenever it comes to the Mages Guild. Uh, it might not be something that I even need on a, on a stamina character. Thieves Guild, I joined it even though I don't have any experience in it. I, I'm not even sure how to gain experience in it. So, yeah, this is pretty much a dead guild to me right now until I can put it to better use. All right, then we have Undaunted. Uh, let's see. Uh, nothing really that I have going on here. I'm trying to level it up some still. That way I can actually put things to use. Uh, I'm not too sure if there's any abilities here that's uh, something that I'm needing to use. But they're there if I need them, I guess. Uh, haven't put any points into them because... I don't have the extra points to throw around, especially in abilities that I'm not even sure that I'll need to use. All right, so then we have our PvP tree here, which is Alliance War, and this is the Assault Line. 
uh, I made sure to pick up uh, Resolving Vigor uh, 4 which is very very important I'm told so I've been using that quite a bit uh, that's like the best uh, stamina heal in the game so that's what I've been using I used to use uh, dragon blood I think it was um, and then caltrips here uh, I believe this got nerfed not too long ago uh, I'm not sure if it's worth it anymore because uh, almost all the guides that I, I read that use caltrips uh, were written before it got nerfed so I'm not sure hmm don't know but then on the support line don't have anything there uh, let's see racial orc skills yep max out everything the the racial abilities here are just so good uh, the passives should I say increases max health and max stamina increase the healing received and health recovery as well as increases your damage done with melee attacks by four percent so good have to fill all that up and then the crafting stuff this is where I'm really on the line with because I'm having a lot of fun with it uh, but I don't have enough money to level up alchemy yet so there's a few abilities here that I just don't have the money for them yet uh, let's see here we got blacksmithing maxed out I put all points into uh, minor, minor hireling I need to fill this stuff up more this is like one of the things that uh, I'm wanting to respec again and redistribute my points because I want to fill up stuff more in my crafting trees because this stuff is so good man I, I'm liking doing the dailies on crafting uh, I enjoy learning patterns uh, the motifs and all that stuff I, or motifs however you say it um, I'm wanting to put more stuff into all this and I just don't have the skill points I need to go sky shard hunting like I said and I probably need to redistribute my points anyway. Uh, Blacksmithing is very fun though. Alright, so clothing. Yep. About the same setup as Blacksmithing. Really liking it. Alright, enchanting. Don't have the money to level this up yet. Hopefully I get enough money in order to do it. Because I'm ready to uh, max it out. That way I can do all the, the dailies on this as well. Same thing with provisioning. Uh, don't have it maxed out I mean it uh, these are real low skilled right now because I just don't have the money to level them up all right then woodworking we've almost max leveled this uh, just about there I'm having a blast doing woodworking as well so yeah all these crafts are, are very fun to me I like to uh, like to keep doing it all right so as you can see character has came along a long way uh, I would love to hear whatever advice you guys got to give uh, this kind of stuff is very exciting to me I can't wait to get my character uh, where he's doing veteran dungeons all the time uh, where I know all the boss mechanics and all that stuff I know it's one of those things that in order to uh, learn it you have to just dive into it and do it but you got to make sure that your character has the right skills uh, has the right build all that stuff before you jump into those deep waters all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video as usual my name is grim if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up button and i'll see you next time